So now it's time for another of Di's helpful hints. And Diane Smiley is here to um, give us a hint about uh, supporting someone living with dementia. Hello, Di. Hi, Jilly. Nice to be back. So what's your hint for this week? Yeah, I've been thinking about this. And um, so many people say that they receive the diagnosis and then there isn't very much after that. Um, and so I just wanted to talk a little bit, really, about that time immediately after receiving the diagnosis. OK, yeah. there's uh, obviously there's going to be all sorts of feelings um, for the person that's received the diagnosis, but also the family carer, the family members. And, and the first thing, really, which is so important, is just to take time, take time to take it all in. And to not be immediately uh, too distressed about it, you know, it just needs time because living with dementia can be can it can carry on as as normal really. It just some people think that you know after the diagnosis it's a straight downhill after that when in fact it's not. Very little changes. So take time, make plans. How, how are you going to approach um, this diagnosis? There could be that there is a possibility of some training that the family members can um, access. And we at D Dignity Intervention do, um, do some um, very, very, I wouldn't say very basic training, but, but we, we go into a little bit of uh, depth, but it's more about looking at the emotional well-being of the person that you're caring for and also for yourself as well. Mm. So it's looking at the information that is out there. It's maintaining independence of the person living with dementia. And that is absolutely key. If you start to take away what they are still able to do, then it will just add to the deterioration. So as far as is possible is just to, carry on as normal you know some families think that oh you've, you've now got this diagnosis you can't do that anymore absolutely not they still can and it's still important to maintain it routine get into a routine if you're not already in a routine um, you know same time for meals uh, any any other things you know within the daily life just create this routine that will be crucially important um, can't uh, continue to stress what they can do, not look at what they can no longer do. And um, just to give you a little bit of a story about um, my family, we we had what well, when the children were growing up, we gave silver boxes, not literally, but a silver box was building up themselves. You know, my my son, I would build you know building up my daughter so you haven't given her a silver box there and and it's edifying the person and and really it's important that looking at what they still can do but building them up edify them you know making them feel uh, important and they have a purpose and they're needed mm -hmm. so those are the the main points really that I wanted to get across today um, how you start out after receiving that diagnosis is really important. It is really, isn't it? Because I think, yeah. as you said, it's so easy to just go into a state of shock once you've actually received yeah. that diagnosis. But uh, yeah. yeah, great. Good. Great stuff, Di. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Di will be back in a fortnight with another of her helpful hints. Thank you. Bye, Bye Jenny.